Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus Weekly Energy for the 19th to the 26th. And this may or may not be a message for you. This may be for this week, it could be for next week, it could be the spark of something that gets things something going. like these cards want to come out. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. We have the Sun card. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. And the Princess of Swords. I feel like you're stuck right now. I feel like there's some something that you wanted to have happen didn't come true. I feel like there was something that you were hoping for and it didn't fall in place and you're just feeling really off like you're feeling really frustrated um you're feeling stuck um yeah you're just you're not interested anymore because this whatever it is that you wanted to have happen did not happen but i feel like <clears throat> everything happens for a reason because look you have this this cup being offered to you um I feel like there's something better coming from you. You thought one thing was going to happen, like that this, this would be really great for you, but I feel like there's something better out there for you. Um, maybe um, because we have the Sun card in the upright. Um, we also have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, which means it's going to take some work, okay? I feel like it's going to take some work for you to be able to let go of whatever this was that didn't work out, that didn't happen for you, that you thought was going to be everything that wasn't everything. But look, there's a cup that's being offered. There's something that's going to be so much better for you, and you're you're not going to realize that right now because you're feeling stuck, because you're feeling like you can't move forward. Um, because you're feeling like you can't move past this because you're just not interested anymore but I feel like you just have to hang in there and you have to realize that there is something better out there for you sometimes it's hard to see that when you have your heart set on something um, maybe it's a relationship with someone um, <clears throat> maybe it was you wanted to buy a house or you wanted a job or whatever this thing is that you thought was really going to, you know, be amazing for you um, and it doesn't work out and you're like, oh my gosh, like why didn't that happen? Like I thought, you know, this was going to be it, this was going to be the answer, you know, this was going to make everything great and now look at We have the star card reversed and we have the empress reversed. I just, I feel like, this is what I feel like. I feel like right now you're feeling because you're in this, you're not interested and you're so upset that these things didn't work out, but I feel like you're going to be able to turn these around, the star card and the empress card. I, f I do feel like you're going to, but right now, because this didn't work out, I feel like you're sort of blocking energy. Um, I feel like you're, you're blocking growth. You're, you're, you're not feeling hopeful, like you're feeling... Like there's this cloud over your head, but I do feel like, I feel like this is so bright. I feel like this looks so yellow and bright and like colorful with the jewels. For some reason that was really sticking out to me and I feel like you really need to focus on that because you're blocking these good things that want to come in because like I said, look at that. You have the sun card, okay? The sun card is like the happiest most positive card in the deck and that came up upright for you. It's going to take you some work to get past this situation, this disappointment that you have, but you have these two cards that came out, which is growth and prosperity. There is hope. There is positive things. Things are going to be okay. Um, they did come out reversed, but I, f but I do feel like you're going to be able to turn. These things want to come in for you, but you're blocking that because right now you're not in the space to receive. <clears throat> All right.
right, you're headed in the right direction, okay? Um, it's going to take some work. It's going to be, yeah, again, with that, it's going to take some work. It's going to be difficult for you to move past this because you were so set, you were so positive, you were so sure on this, but look at, yay, look at that. All right. There, it could. I feel like it. It could be a relationship um, that that didn't happen for you that you really wanted to happen, and you're like, I don't understand why this didn't work. But I feel like there is something better for you. Okay, there is something more beautiful. There is something that is more positive. There is something that is more fitting for you. Um, I do feel like you're going to need some time alone to work through this first. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel like jumping into a new relationship is a good thing because I think it's just not going to give you the time to process what didn't work out. Um, I feel like you do need to, you know, take this time to yourself and just process what did not happen. But there is something really great coming in for you, okay? There's something really positive. Um, something that's really beautiful, okay, because this is the heart card, and look at how cute those swans are together with the heart in the middle, okay? It's going to take some work, but like I said before, I said I definitely felt like you're going to be able to turn these things around, and there's something really beautiful that wants to come in for you. You're headed in the right direction, you just have to give it some time. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.